Look at all those fish. They're right along the bank. We're in seven feet of water. We'll get the live scope out and see what it looks like. I'm in the very back of a cove. 12 feet deep. Look at all that. Lordy, lordy. I'm going to set up my spider rig to see if I can catch some of these. Good morning, folks. It's January 8, 2023. I'm on the Gravoy arm of Lake of the Ozarks. I'm going to do something today I haven't done in a long time, but I really enjoy. I'm going to spider rig some minnows and jigs, try to catch some crappie. Uh, it's cold this morning. The air temperature is 32 degrees. It's supposed to warm up to about 44. The winds are supposed to be between 5 and 10. Right now, it is dead calm. It is uh, 10 oh eight um, i'm gonna get started i graphed as i hope you saw on the uh, video that i shot coming in here a bunch of crappie back here in shallow water i'm sitting i've got my power poles down and i'm just sitting in about three feet of water and the crappie are right out here in front of us i uh, came inside scanned them got all the way in the back saw them put the live scope down man they are thick now i don't know if we'll catch them or not but we're going to give it a try. Stay with me. All right, let's power pole up. And I'm going to get in a little deeper water so I can get my baits out here. I'm just fishing four rods today, folks. That's, that'll be plenty if we get any of these big schools of fish out here on Lake of the Ozarks like I hope we do. Uh, so that'll, that'll keep me plenty busy. I'm just going to try to ease up on these schools that I see on the live scope and just set the rods right in the middle of them. All right, let's get baited up. I've got two rods that just have a double hook rig, a Capson Coleman style rig, which I tie myself. I've got a little video uh, on how I do that. I'll link that at the end of, the, uh, of this video if you want to watch it. And then I've got two it's again Capson Coleman style but one of them has a double jig rig and one has a jig and a bare hook thing so I'm going to fish see what they want and we'll go from there all right this first one's just a double hook rig come here baby been a while since I've done this folks hope I still remember Okay, I'm just going to go right under the chin of that minnow on the top one. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom one. Right. I'm using my 16 foot uh, BGJPs, B&M rods, and uh, B&M Pro 100 reels. I've got 10 pound high vis K9 line on the reel, and my jig uh, rigs are made out of 8 pound K9 line clear. We're really shallow still, 7.8 feet, so I'm just going to put them barely below the surface till I get them all baited, and then I'll uh, adjust the depth. Now, like I say, this rig. I've got a just a 1 32nd ounce uh, orange head, red sickle hook. Tied these a long time ago. Uh, muddy water, two and a half inch bait, or that might be a two inch bait. It's that favorite monkey glow color, and I'm just going to tip it with a minnow. And then down below, got the same hook and jig head but i've got sort of a purple and clear living the dream uh plastic do the same thing tip it with a minnow i'm just kind of alternating these this next one then is a the double hook rig okay same deal I see those fish up there ahead of me about 28 feet in front. 
on the live scope. Can't wait to get them baited and get with it. And then this one, like I say, is I've got a just a bare hook on the top that I'm going to run a minnow on. Then on the bottom, I've got another muddy water purple and uh, chartreuse with a one thirty-second ounce orange jig head. I think uh, muddy water calls this color gumdrop. All right, now I got all four rods out. I'm gonna put my power poles down. I got my drift paddles out. I'm just gonna put them down to help control my speed as, my, as I drift along. All right, let's look at these baits. There's the far left one. It's running anywhere from three feet down to five feet. There's the inside one on the left. I'm going to run it down a little deeper, and as the water gets deeper, I'll adjust them yet. Oh, man, look at there. There's fish looking right at that one. We're almost to them. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Uh-oh. Too much. Get it down there. All right, where's the other one? There's the other one. Let's pull it down a little bit. Of course, those fish, they're scattered. You can see them out there. They're scattered anywhere from three feet deep all the way down to the bottom. All right, let's go at them. We're just going to move into them real slow. I like to keep my hands on my rod holders. I can feel the thump through these 16-foot BGJPs. All right, we're coming into them. I'm just going to kind of slow down and drift along. Man, there's a mess of fish out there if we can get them to bite. I don't know if they'll want it moving or if they'll just want it sitting there real still. We'll experiment around till we catch one, hopefully. We're just moving about 0.3 miles an hour. Come on, fish. How can you resist a live minnow? All right, we just sat in them, nothing. Like I say maybe they want them moving. Increase my speed a little bit, see if we can get a reaction bite. Wow, now we're in 16 feet of water. Still lots and lots of fish down there. Let's, uh, these rods are 16 feet. I got the tips out of the water about a foot. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Yeah, now that's a crappie. While we're just sitting there baiting that one, I'm gonna put that one down a little deeper, see if we can catch deeper fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice black crappie there. Come here, come here. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, that's a dandy black. That's on the old straight minnow. Man, I'm trying not to get everything all tangled up. All right. Let's just put that back in the water while I'm doing this. All right. It's a nice little keeper fish there. A little black. I'm going to keep a few today. I hope I get tired of running back here. Boy, there's a bunch of fish in here. I'm just gonna stay here for a while. I'm gonna go till I run out of them and I'm gonna turn around and come back through them. The sun's supposed to come out today. It's cloudy now, overcast. I got a feeling when that sun pops out, if it does, I might turn these fish on a little bit. I've had a full moon, they never bite good for me in a full moon. 
until it gets later in the day. There's fish, yeah, oh yeah. Another nice little black one. Oh, dandy. Dandy black. All right. That came on the old living the dream, purple and clear. Yeah, nice black. Come on, fish, bite me while I'm up. I don't care when you do it, as long as you do it. There he is, there he is. Oh man, these are dandy blacks. I mean, you talk about some good eaters. These are gonna be nice. That's on the old muddy water. Plastic. Yep. Gumdrop color. Anything else going on up here? You were supposed to do that while I had my back turned. What's the matter with you? Don't you know an opportunity when you see it? Get a minnow and run off with it? There are fish everywhere in this cove. My goodness. But they're not all biters, I'll tell you. I've run through a lot of fish with them just looking at it. There are a few hungry ones in there. Big schools of black crappie. I don't do this very often. I need to do more of it. Old style, I say old style. Pre-live scope, man, we did a lot of this. Now we got the live scope and it just enhances it. Just kind of varying my depths and messing with my speed till we can kind of hopefully figure something out here. Keep some above them, some in them, some down lower. Just got a half ounce weights on these rigs. Wasn't planning to fish too deep and I wasn't planning to go too fast. Uh, just when I think I'm about to run out of school, I see another school up ahead. I just keep going. What a beautiful day, folks. It's cold, but with no wind and no boat traffic. Pretty awesome. Just going about 0.4 miles an hour. May need to speed up, see if we can trigger a bite. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Okay, you can see my bait real well there, my rig. This top is the swivel, and then there's the bait, that second thing you see there, and then that's my weight, and then that's the bottom bait. Right over that tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a good one. Good black crappie. Good black crappie. He came on that uh, muddy water. I may have put some more of that color on there. That gumdrop. I think I got one on that one right there. I know I do. Yep. Uh-uh, don't you get in that other one. Yep, another black crappie. That one's on plastic too. They starting to hack like they want plastic, not a straight minnow. Yep. That one's not as big. That one was on plastic too. That living the dream bait. That's two on that, two on the gumdrop. There's fish. Yep. There's fish. Yep, we're in them. Oh boy. There we go. That's what I like. Two at a time. Come here. That's a good one there. This one on the left's a little smaller. Oh, come on. I can't get you in the floor. There you go. All right. Put that one in the floor. 
Anybody else want to dance while I'm up? Again, that's on the plastic living the dream. Yep. Ah, that gummit. That fish, I don't know. Let me see. Where's my old measuring tool? I should have got that out. Fish is nine and a half inches long. I'm not going to keep it. It's a keeper, but I'm not going to keep it. But I'm going to keep that one. As on the old living the dream plastic. I'm going to put more plastics on. You know, you can put a plastic right on these bare hooks, too. You don't necessarily have to have a jig head when you're doing this spider rigging. All right. I'm going to turn around here in a minute. I think that bigger one that I put in the box was on this... Uh, Gumdrop, muddy water bait. They're about to make a believer to put plastic on all of them. Yep, they are about to make a believer out of me. All right, I've kind of run out of them. I'm gonna get these shallower because we're really shallow and I want to turn around. As long as these fish are hanging around, I'm going to stay in here. Some of them bite, most of them don't, but catching them every now and then. That wind blow a little bit, I think it'd help the bite too. Little bit of wind and some sun. Might turn these babies on. Sure make them less spooky. Oh no, I got them hung up. You can use that weight to your advantage when you get hung up. If you let that weight get down below your hook, it changes the angle of that hook and then just pop it real quick. And most of the time it'll pop that out of there. Yep, yep. <laughs> White crappie. I think that's the first white crappie we've caught. Keeper. Maybe we get into some whites, they'll bite. Better than these old finicky black crappie. Yes, sir. Put that on the stringer. I got. Yep. Oh, that's a good one there. I felt better. Another black, yeah. All right. <laughs> Come to me, baby. On the old gumdrop. Gumdrop, making a believer out of me. A few more of these here gumdrops. Is that what that's called? No, bonbon. I've been calling it gumdrop. It's bonbon. Bonbon. Calling it the wrong thing. So I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean by you can just take this regular old hook. That's a two-aught mustad hook. I'm gonna tell you, I like these things. They're sharp. 
not a two rod, a number two must add light wire. See, I'm just going to put that on that regular hook. Then I'm going to put a minnow on it. Bon Bon, I was calling it gumdrop. Okay. Wow. Let's see, are we baited up here? Yep. What about here? Nope. That's that bare hook. I'm going to put another bon bon on that bare hook. Been catching them on that bon bon on the bottom. Getting a bite on this far left one over here. Oh, wind starting to pick up a little bit. I like that. I welcome it. Yep. Fish. Black. Oh man, look at them on the screen. Holy moly. It's a nice little black. <laughs> if I can get him in. I'm out of practice with this, folks. Out of practice. Now he came on a bare hook, of course, after I'm putting plastics on all these others. Never fails, does it? I hope they're just tearing those rods up while I got my back turned. Are you? Nope. There are a ton of fish here. Let me put my power po poles down, my drift paddles to slow me down going with this wind. They are endless. Feeling, yep, there he is. Yeah, it's a nice black. Another nice black crappie. On the old bonbon bon on a straight hook. They liking the bonbon bon today. That's one I put on that straight hook. See there? Rethread that one. I tell you, folks, these BGJP poles are so sensitive. There, look at there. I can't even get this one baited. You can feel everything. Even though they're 16 feet long, that fish hits that. You can feel it all the way up that rod down into the handle. I highly recommend them. Yeah, there they are. That school moved from there, it's just kind of swam around under that dock and out here up toward the bank. You see them? It's good to get ugly if they're hungry. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Oh, these are nice meaty blacks. It's on the old bear hook. I knew it. If I start putting the plastics on, they just start biting a bear hook. Of course. Man. I'll get him here in a minute. Look at him. Oh, I didn't hardly get that one down there. Oh, another good one. Straight minnow. We're going to have to take all my plastics off now. Oh, these are dandy. Oh, I got to put that fish in. He did that just to remind me to put that fish in the live well.
stuff. Got one buried down there. Got him buried. Yeah. That's what I like to see. I like to come back from the live well and have a rod buried. Another nice old black. That's on the living cream plastic. All right, I'll go right back there. You all go ahead and go on down. I feel him over here. Got him. Yep. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's another one. It's on the old straight hook with the bonbon plastic muddy water. Okay, folks, that's it. That's the limit. It's right at 12 o'clock. I don't know what time we got started, but uh, some pretty good action. Enjoyed spider rigging, caught a bunch of them. There's so many fish in here. I'm going to end this video and I'm going to start another one. I don't know. I may get a cork out, may try to throw a little jerk bait around, may just cast some of them, do something different. I'm going to put my spider rigs up and do something else. Thanks for being with me. I've had a good time. I haven't done this spider rigging in a long time. Um, but that's the limit. They're not huge, but they're pretty good fish. They'll be good for, I'll probably take these home and give these to one of my friends or secretaries and uh, I think they'll enjoy them. But thanks for being with me. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe, hit the like button, share the bell, do all those things like I always ask you to do. It really helps out the channel. But uh, it's noon, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna do another video, hopefully. See you next time.